Hey everybody, I'm Coach Brick, and I'm here to make you into a lean, mean building machine. We're going to take it step by step and put together the coolest Lego sets out there so that you will have the tools and tricks you need to build whatever crazy thing you can imagine. Hey guys, welcome back to our Lego Ideas Dinosaur Fossils, it's number 21320. This is part three of bag two. Let's get into it. We left off on step 14. So let's grab this white um, Technic bar. It has this angled shape so that it has five clip holes on the side and then three here. A uh, little asymmetrical, not like the last ones we've been using that are more symmetrical like that. Um, in the comment box, it shows us that we need to get two of these hand clips. And in the smaller side, let's see, if you lay this so that the smaller side is up and this is angling off to the left, then we're going to put a clip here and a clip here, so on both ends in the X-bar hole. And then uh, on the other side, if we flip this over, we're going to get um, four of these stud clips, light gray stud clips. We're going to go into, let's see, the, the three clip holes that are next to the angle, the intersection of this angle, and then also the very last one before that x bar hole, okay? That. And then this will clip on with the short end into this side here. So, uh, yeah, these toes are pointing down, then you're going to clip these on here. These, both of those clips are going to go in on opposite sides like that and hold this in place there. Okay, so this is angling back like a knee. This is going to be like a knee of the triceratops. And then we'll go to step 15. We're going to do the opposite, mirror it on the other side. Or, no, actually, this is not mirroring it. This is making the front leg. Okay, so the small side, if we're looking at it like this, uh, we have the small side at the top, and we're angling the long side off to the right. Then we need two tan clips. They're going to go in the top and bottom X bar holes. And then we need four sled clips. And they are going to go on the opposite side. We are going to put two of the, we're going to put one in the intersection, okay? One in that intersection clip hole. We're also going to put one under it on the long side. We're going to put one in the very top hole and one in the very bottom hole. Alright, so it should look like that. And then we're going to take the smaller side and we're going to put right here into this front piece so that um, this clip hole is going to go into that empty, or that clip is going to go into the empty clip hole there, okay? And should clip together. I have to wiggle it a little bit to make sure they both go in kind of the same time. It's a little tricky. Alright. So that's in there. And we'll go on to 16. Alright, so 16, I guess we're just going to um, skip over the other legs. Maybe we need to put the body in here so then the last step will be clipping those legs in. Um, step 16, set this aside. We're going to get a white 2x6 plate and then go to step 17 where we're going to get this. This is basically a 2x6, but it has the two corners rounded off. Um, and then we're also, we're, so we're going to put that on to the two end. Um, actually four, two, the four uh, end studs like that to make a T-shape. And then we need another 2x6 plate that's going to go on to the back, covering up those. Um, eight studs like that. So we have this big T-shape and we'll go to 18. We're going to flip it over and we need our tan uh, one by six plate. That's going to go into this little nook right there. And then two of the white one by two plates that's rounded off. They're going to go on to this rounded off um, 2x6 plate, just alongside that other 2x6. Okay, so we need there, like that. And then we'll flip it back over for step 19, and we need two 
tan two by two plates. And they're going to go onto here so that they're flush with the bottom. It's only going to be two studs overlapping with the, the tan on the underneath side like that. Okay. Then set 20. And we have a light gray uh, A shape. It has this um, two by two plate pattern with the wings coming off of it like that. That is going to go on to here, bridging between this rounded off piece and the standard 2x6, like that. So the wings are going to hang down the side here. You should still see these four studs in the top, like that, okay? And also a 2x4 plate in white is going to go across the bottom here, like that. Now in step 21, let's get a, okay, there's a color box. Let's get this white 2x2 um, two two plate with the clip hole off the bottom. And we need a 1 by 2 to 1 offset plate like that over the clip hole. And we need a light gray cap or a single stud round tile. It's going to go on top of there. Now we need two of these. So grab all the same pieces and do the same deal with this offset plate. Now these guys are going to go on to the ends right here. So these anti studs there are going to clip onto that those two tan studs on either side. Like that, and we'll go to step 22. We need a tan one by six plate. That's going to go across the very bottom here. Bottom row studs. Also grab these light gray one by twos with the um, two pronged hinge piece off the off the uh, longer or the wider side. And they're going to go on the inside here, side by side, so that they are pointing up towards this um, light gray A. And, oh, you know what? In the last step, we also, I forgot to put in this white piece. It is, it has a 2 by 2, by two footprint, but it's a curved um, slope piece. It's going to go here on top of this light gray piece, like that, and step down into that other white piece. Okay. So then um, we can go on to, oh wait, we need two of these round little studs in tan, and they're going to go into this little nook there, okay? Those guys in there, and we'll go on to 23. Now we need 23, another 2 by 6 white, and that's going to go over the top of all this stuff right there. And we also need a white 2 by 2 it's a 2 by 2 plate, and then it has this rounded section with um, a hole in it that's offset like that. That's going to go off the end here. Just one row of anti studs is going into that row, okay? So it's not going onto the gray, it's going onto the white piece in front of it. <clears throat> Step 24. Find this um, tan 2 by 2 plate and center that on the bottom right there on top of that white 2 by 6 plate. And then get these two one by three plates in tan. They're going to go on top of this white two by two with the hole, the rounded shape with the hole in the end. And also, one of the studs is going to go onto that light gray piece, okay? Then we also need this um, single stud block with a clip hole in it. Two of those in white, and they're going to go side by side into the end of these wing shapes right here, okay? So those are going to sit right onto there to where the clip holes are facing off to the side, like that, okay? Now, in step 25, what we're going to do is we need this tan, um, I don't know what this thing's called, it's like a horse hitching kind of piece. It has these bars on the side. There's a 2x2 two two plate and a 1x2 plate on the other end. The 1x2 plate piece is going to go up at the top here onto this tan, and then the other one's going to go down here onto these tan pieces, the 2x2, two two, like that. I'm just going to bridge those with that bar. Now we also need a dark gray uh, one by two with excuse me, with the ball on the end. And that ball is going to go over this round piece with a hole in it. And then a light gray one by two with the um, two pronged hinge piece is going to go on the back in between this gap between the bars of that tan piece. Like that on the bottom, and go to 26. We need a tan one by six plate, so that's going to go on the bottom here. It's going to hit on the end. It's going to grab onto those um, single stud blocks, 
and then the middle is going to hit this um, tan plate, this tan combination piece. Uh, we also need a tan two by two plate to go over that dark gray piece, and then we'll go to step 27. Step 27 needs a white, uh, two of these uh, white one by twos with the bar handle off the white side, and they're going to go onto this light gray piece, this tan, I mean not light gray, but tan 1x6 piece so that the bar handles are hanging off the bottom like that. And then we need three of these white uh, 1x2 offset plates. And they're going to go in a row like this, in a line like that, so that we have three studs that are centered like that up and down. And in the back we're also going to get a 2x2 offset plate and put it in the very back over that light gray and the tan piece. Sometimes I'm calling this the back and sometimes I'm calling it the top. I'm also calling this the back. Um, sorry, it's just really confusing with me looking at it from two different perspectives. But you guys get through. So, uh, 28. Here's a call that box. Um, we need a white uh, 1x6 tile. Or, no, not tile, a plate. And then we also need, this is a pretty unique piece. This is a 1x3 offset with two studs. That is going to go on to here to where there's one stud exposed on one side and on the other side there's two. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab this uh, 1x2 plate that has the uh, small and a large spike sticking up. And um, we're going to put one of these on here so that the larger spike is towards the center like that, and then onto this offset plate we're going to put the other one to where the larger spike is also facing the other spikes. And then in step 3 of the call-out box, we need another one of our 1x6s, and we're going to put this on the underneath side so that the part with the single stud still exposed is going to get these other two studs hanging out the, the front of it like that. Okay? And then in step 4, we're going to get some cheese wedges, two white cheese wedges, and this white um, 1x2 footprint um, curved slope. That's going to be on the very tip, like that. And then the cheese slopes are going to go on here, one in front of the other. So this is going to be one big slide down at the top here, like that. All right, and these ridges on the back. and. Now, what we're going to do with this is I'm going to bring our other back piece over here, and the part with this um, curved slope is going to go over these three centered studs, and then the back is going to go onto that offset plate, okay? So, like this. Okay, so that should be flush with the front and flush with the back over here by this hinge. All right, you got that going on. Now, we're going to go to 29, and we need to make eight of these. It shows in the call-out box. We need to get eight of these large white rib pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they're all going to get these little hands with the post socket. Okay. There's eight of those also. So stick those in there. Um, I believe these are going to be oriented on here so that, you know, if this is off to the side, then you can see down through the hand of that like that so that when they clip on they're going to hang down like a spike okay what we're going to do is we're going to clip four of those on each side onto this tan bar and they're going to hang down like that okay so first let's build all these guys snap these all together get all our ribs and then Decor these on each side like that. That's making a really cool rib cage. You can kind of you kind of feather them like that. It gives a nice offset and it makes it look like there's like larger ones in the back and smaller ones in the front, like a real rib cage. And try and space these out so that you have even spacing all the way across that that area there. Okay. So, of course, you'll have to rearrange these as you go, or when you do your final posing, so that it 
looks nice because they're just going to wiggle all over the place. But anyway, that's what that looks like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back over in step 30. And the part with the light gray hinge is going to be towards the back where we have the And what's going to happen is this clip hole is going to go into that side. Or that clip's going to go into that, that side clip hole and that one's going to go into there. And it's going to be like the torso. Every page like that. All right. So that's a good place to stop. We are going to come back next time with part four of bag two. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.